Hi guys, it's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do the Facebook card reveals for you all. Just want to say as well, I've had to cancel a few readings today for some bits and pieces. So um, if you've been affected by that, I'm really, really sorry, but apologies and thank you for bearing with me. That does mean a lot. So if you've been drawn to card one, we're going into the energy of the lovers. So the lovers card is all about connections. It's all about a real sense of bringing people and energy together. Very often with this card, it can indicate that there could be some kind of romantic connection coming in for you. But also this card shows quite a lot if perhaps you're already with a partner, but maybe things have been a little bit um, practical. So maybe life has prevented you from maybe having that deeper connection. So this card is always interesting because it kind of depends where you're at in your personal setup. So I always see with this, if you're someone that is single, then this is usually about a connection. It's about bringing people together. So very often there could be a friendship that leads to something a little bit more romantic. If you're with a partner already, it could be the celebration and the sort of honouring of that time period of love for each other. So it could be that there's an anniversary that connects you both. Um, or it could be that you know, you're know you making plans for that next stage of your life together, which can be lovely. But also, if you're with a partner, this can sometimes indicate that maybe things have been quite practical. Maybe there's been a little bit of a block um, just through having to sort of be at one with the world. And maybe you need to sort of reconnect to find this connection of, of love. But usually this card is all about, you know, bringing energies together and it's like everything coming good. Sometimes it's also a deep connection of friendship with somebody, a deep love as friends rather than anything in a romantic setting, but having that real deep soul based connection with somebody. So it might be that there's somebody recently new that's come into your life that you see as a more soul based friend, but really feeling connected with that person, really loving that energy. So it's a really, really lovely time to just sort of focus on connecting and having that sort of heart based um, energy at the moment if you've been drawn to this card. Now then, as we're moving into card two, we're going into the card of strength. So if you've been drawn to the card of strength, what I love about this card of strength is basically whatever trials, whatever tribulations, whatever crap has been thrown at you, strength has residual energy. So strength is very, very good at finding the way to overcome the hurdles, the problems, the obstacles that life faces. It's not always straightforward. It's not always easy. Sometimes it can be a task. Sometimes it can be quite heavy. Sometimes it can be quite challenging. But what's great with the card of strength is it will always find the way to overcome the hurdle the circumstance, the problem. It won't stay consumed as a victim. So if you've been sort of up against something at the moment, and this could be a personal behaviour with a person, it could be a physical circumstance, it could be something happening where perhaps you're in a legal situation, it could be anything. There's so many things that this could be. It could be a health battle. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're up against, if it's been invasive, if it's been toxic, if it's been heavy, whatever you're going through, what's great with the card of strength is you are stronger than the problem. And I think it's remembering that because sometimes we get so consumed in what we're battling, what we're dealing with, what we're up against, we lose our bearings and sometimes we forget to give ourselves that permission to move past that cycle, to move past that space. But this card is really encouraging that to happen. So strength is about seeing beyond the problems, beyond the hurdles, beyond the blockages, and you can come out victorious. So what I love about the card of strength is it's not your final destination. It's something you're managing and you're going through, but there will be light at the end of the experience. There'll be a higher vibe energy that presents itself for you. So interesting. Now then, guys, as we're going into card three, we're going into the energy of the three of sky. Three of sky is the same as um, swords in our conventional tarot. So this is like the three of swords, which is the card with the big heart with the swords protruding through. So if you've been drawn to this, maybe you're feeling quite sad. Maybe you're feeling quite low at the moment. Maybe you are going through a little bit of a grieving process and that could be grieving for somebody that is physically no longer here. 
And it could also be somebody that you've been having to grieve for that is actually exiting your life or has maybe just exited your life or is going to be doing that. Um, you know, with the uh, Three of Swords, uh, sorry, the Three of Sky in this case, but Three of Swords conventionally, this is about feeling quite lost, quite hurt, quite um, upset. There could be some sorrow, there could be some dis depression a little bit. So it's feeling a little bit um, low, it's feeling a little bit glum, I suppose. And I think it's really important that when we get those feelings, we don't suppress it, we don't push it to one side. It's really important to acknowledge those feelings. So if you are feeling a little bit low, if you are feeling a little bit lost, if you are even feeling a little bit hurt by something, allow yourself permission to feel the energy because feeling the energy is the very thing that's needed to work through it, to clear it ultimately from your world. And this isn't always an easy card when it shows. It's not always a quick fix card either. So sometimes we have to hurt a little bit to move forward with our life. But I think what's really important to, to sort of remember with this, if you're in this energy, embrace it, go through it, but there will be light again beyond this, particularly if there's a grieving process. You know, one thing that I can tell you from my mediumship, that spirit tell me time and time and time again, is that they want people to have life beyond grief. They want people to live again. They want people to be able to just not survive but really exist again you know so this is a temporary experience but unfortunately it's something that we all go through we all face at times and points in our life and some of you may be just having to be a bit gentle on yourself at the moment while the heart heals that's really what this is about so you know go steady go gentle go easy and if you are struggling if there is some stuff that you're finding a bit consuming reach out to somebody, please don't suffer in silence because that's the worst thing that you can do. So remember that. So I'm gonna leave these cards with you. I hope they resonate, I hope they make a little bit of sense. Stay safe, stay well, love and blessings, and I will catch up with some of you lovelies either on Zoom or Facebook or at the various um, dates we've got coming up very soon. Bye for now.